we have another uh, situation where a young uh, black male, 18 year old uh, in Missouri, uh, Michael Brown, was shot to death by police. And I, the police, I, I guess the police were white and Michael Brown was black. And according to Michael Brown supporters, and I don't know what the truth is. I don't even have enough information to know. But the Michael Brown supporters claim that he not only was he unarmed, which that's undisputed. The police say he was unarmed. But they claim that he didn't do anything to threaten the police, that he was just standing there with his arms in the air and he was murdered in cold blood. The police have a different story. They claim there was an altercation, and as a result of this altercation, that's why the shots were fired. Now, I, you know, somebody is telling the truth and somebody is not. And if what uh, is being claimed by um, Michael Brown's friends, if what they're saying is true, then clearly there is a reason to be outraged. And this particular officer should be charged with murder, if, if that's exactly what happened. Now, maybe that's not what happened. But what I want to talk about is the reaction, the rioting, the looting, and again, the failure of the left to really condemn this type of action. And in many cases, to excuse it and to encourage it. Because that's typically what happens when you get this kind of reaction uh, in uh, you know minority communities to events that, that that supposedly outrage them, the way they express their outrage, uh, uh, and and the way it is forgiven uh, by the civil rights uh, uh, leaders. So you've got the rioters and the protesters out in force, and once again you've got the civil rights community, in many cases making excuses uh, for this type of activity. Uh, here is an example. It's on MSNBC. This is James Clark who is a St. Louis-based social activist, uh, speaking about uh, the, uh, the looters in particular here. Cut number three. There is an obvious disconnect where we have allowed a subculture to grow and fester within our neighborhoods. And so we must learn that we cannot shut people out. We cannot disregard people's need to be welcome into society because the, the, these individuals are now angry and they have the right to be angry. So, so, and we in some way have to thank them for giving us a wake-up call. But, but now that we have the wake-up call, we must mobilize and go into our neighborhoods and offer them a sense of hope and a sense of purpose. So in other words, we need to thank the looters for giving us a wake-up call. Thank you, looters, for breaking into the, your neighborhood stores and stealing stuff for taking things that don't belong to you. Thank you, because it's a wake-up call. Right? We don't blame you for your criminal actions. They're justified because you're outraged or angry, and it's okay to express that anger by stealing stuff. Right? I mean, this is all about greed and lawlessness. It's about making up an excuse. Oh, a black guy was shot. Oh, let's go riot. Let's go loot. I mean, if you really are outraged, if you're saying this is terrible because here this policeman, right, harmed another individual, and that outrages me. So how do you express your outrage? By going and harming another individual. The people that own these shops, where the shops are being ransacked uh, uh, and vandalized and merchandise is being stolen, they didn't do anything wrong. They, they didn't shoot that 18-year-old. They had nothing to do with it. The owner of that store may be just as outraged by the killing as the vandals and the looters. Yet why are they being punished? What, two wrongs make a right? Yes, if you, if you think that somebody else did something wrong, well, then you should do something wrong, too, at a protest. Look, I've got no problem with an actual protest. You know, go in the streets, make a picket sign, right? Justice, we want justice, you know, whatever you want. Demand justice, march in the streets, but you don't use it as an excuse to steal stuff, to vandalize stuff, to commit acts of violence against other people who had nothing to do with the events that you're protesting. But why don't these guys come out and condemn it? Because, you know, if some of these looters or vandals, if they watch this stuff on TV and you hear a guy saying, thank you. Thank you for the wake up call. Maybe it's like, okay, yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I want more thanks. I guess I'll go out and steal some more stuff. 
you know, because they want to stop. This is about greed. It's about taking things that don't belong to you and looking for an excuse to do it. And any any leader who doesn't come out and condemn this, you know, therefore, you're, and even the black leaders, of course, the white leaders would, you know, if you're a white guy, you know, no, you can't condemn the looters because now you're a racist, right? Um, but even the black, you know, civil rights leaders are afraid to condemn blacks, right? No, they want, they, they want to go out there and they want to uh, egg them on. They want to justify it. They want to make excuses. There are no excuses for this kind of activity. Um, here's another example. This is uh, on CNN. Don Lemon um, talking about uh, the rioting here. Cut number six. Can I say we'll one emerge. more thing before we go? When you're talking about the rioting, yeah, it's terrible about the rioting. I agree with LZ. I hate that. I hate when people riot and yeah. loot that happened in Katrina. But when people are put in dire situations, you don't know how they're going to react. I'm not saying it's right. I personally urge people to be peaceful and calm. I'm not saying I agree with him, but I understand. They should never be rioting. I understand. Should never be. It should never be rioting. But no, it happens when people are frustrated. You saw those kids. They running, react. Those breaking out they react the way community. they're going to react. As I said, I don't agree with him, but I understand. Don yeah, Lemon, you can't understand. Kill all I do understand it. Thank you. Yeah, you see, he's saying that. Look, I'm not saying it's right, but then he's not saying it's wrong. He's not condemning it. He's saying I understand it. What's to understand? Okay, so a you believe that a black teenager was murdered. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Because the people that are riding, they don't know. They weren't there. They, they, they're just hearing information, right? And they don't even know what the truth is yet, right? So maybe, maybe the guy attacked the police. Maybe there was an altercation. Maybe uh, the policeman felt threatened by a very large uh, uh, guy and, and maybe uh, he ended up, there, maybe there was justification for the shooting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the facts either. But I'm not going to go out there and riot. But you've got this guy, he doesn't want to condemn the action. But even if you're upset that uh, somebody was murdered, you don't express that anger by stealing from other people that weren't involved in the murder that may be just as upset with it as you are. But now you're using it as an excuse to go out and steal. And this guy says, I understand it. What's to understand? This is criminal behavior. So you understand that they're criminals, that they're bad people, that they're taking advantage of the situation. They are dishonoring. If this young man really was doing nothing wrong and murdered in cold blood, you dishonor his memory by using it as an excuse to go out and steal to go out and loot, to commit vandalism, to commit other acts of violence, supposedly because you're outraged. This has nothing to do with outrage. This has to do with looking for an excuse for illegal behavior. People, they just want to steal this stuff. There is merchandise in these stores, and the looters want it, but they don't want to pay for it. They want to steal it. And they know if they just steal it under normal circumstances, it might be harder to get away with it. But if they can somehow couch their theft you know, as some kind of social outrage over some kind of perceived injustice, then they have a better chance of getting away with it. And of course, when some people are stealing and if other people and it becomes a riot and everybody is doing it, it makes it less likely that you're going to get caught. All of this activity needs to be uh, reprimanded. It means it, it, you, these, anybody caught looting or they need to be prosecuted, made an example of we can not condone it. This is a disgrace when these guys go on television and make excuses for this abhorrent uh, criminal behavior.